Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about a function called sequence in R where we can actually make sequences in an AP where we have first element, the difference between the two elements and we can also limit it to a certain extent towards the last element. There are uh, There is a certain syntax that you should use it. It's very useful in loops when you want to write a for loop uh, and you want to specify the loop in which the numbers should change. So this is a very uh, useful command might not be useful at first when you learn our programming but it's a good function to have in your back pocket when you want to generate a sequence and use it appropriately in your loops moving ahead so before starting any uh, thing in our studio we should clear the console and we should uh, clear the environment so I, I cleared the environment by rm list is equal to ls and I clear the console by control plus l so you see my console is empty my environment is empty now we can start understanding the syntax of sequence function so the syntax is pretty straightforward it's sequence bracket open from to by these are the three main pillars of it i'll come to length out and along with but from from where do you need to start to where do you need to end by what is the gap between the elements so if i just give you a very uh, simple example sequence from 1 to 10 and i run it you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It just prints it out, right? Now, I didn't specify a by, so it assumed in equal intervals in an integer manner. If I specify a by by 3, that means increment of a given sequence. So 1 to 10 by 3 starts from 1, ends at 10. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10, it'll end, right? So I'll start. And that's exactly what we get 1, 4, 7, and 10. And if I do it by 4, now the limits are 1 and 10, but it'll be 1 plus 4, 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 4 is 13, which is greater than 10, so it won't get printed. So the by command actually helps us to limit the number uh, as well, and it makes sure that it does not give us like the number 10 if it does not come in the sequence. So if I run this, we can see it's 1, 5, 9, and there's no series after that. So if I run sequence from 1 to 10 by 4, I'll only get 3 elements. But if I do a by is equal to 3, I'll get 4 elements because 10 will be included in that. Now these were the basic from, to and by. Now it's like uh, you can be a very power user in R and you can also uh, you know not use the from, to and by every time you write the sequence command. If you know the uh, order in which you want to type in the numbers by heart or it's in the back of your head, you don't need to type from to and by every time. You can just write, you know, sequence 1104 and it will give you the same output as we got of 159. It just means sequence from 1 to 10 by 4. So from to and by, this comes in in a loop, right? Now, now that we have covered the three major functions from to and by, the fourth one is length dot out. Now, what does length dot out mean? It is the argument that decides total length of the sequence. Let's say I don't want to write the argument by. I want from 1 to 10 and I want 5 elements. By command is not there, right? In that case, so if you see uh, length out is sequent, uh, c, uh, c dot in sequence in integers from 3 to 30, length dot out is equal to 10. That means I want from 3 to 30. 10 elements so it will automatically find uh, the gap between the elements which are equidistant from each other when i print it i get 3 6 9 12 the a table of 3 right if i do length out 5 i'll still get the same i got 3 16.5 and if uh, you know you would like to see the simple sequence function as well it works the same way so if i copy and run this boom you get the same answer so it automatically finds the gap in between the numbers to make sure that there are five elements as per length dot out so you want length of five to be printed that's why you use length dot out now the final uh, argument that you can use inside the brackets of a sequence function is along with now let's say you have a vector or a variable which has five elements in it or six elements in it right i have a vector here called y which has four elements in it, right? And my command goes sequence 125, that means from 1 to 25, right? It will start from 1, end at 25, along with y. 
Now what does this do is, I don't need to write length dot out is equal to 4. I, I just need to write along with y. That means whatever the length is of y vector, that length will be put in the sequence function. So if tomorrow I change my y vector to 7 elements, the sequence element will print 7 elements, right? So I'll just quickly run this. And you see I get 1, 9, 17, 25 and the number is as per my y vector. Now if I change and put 300 in y, boom, you see 5 elements, right? If I add another, you'll see another, that I get more elements. So the again, if you use along with, uh, the difference between the elements is automatically adjusted and you get a sequence where every element is, is equidistant from each other. The gap is equal in uh, in layman terms and this is what we get sometimes uh, we just want a simple sequence that starts from one and till till a particular number sometimes we, we don't want this you know fancy by along with length out yeah and you you just want to print 1 to 15 1 to 10 1 to 5 so what to do in that case in that case you can use a very simple basic command of like sequence underscore length if it's sequence underscore length 5 it will print 1 2 3 4 5 if it's sequence underscore length 10, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. In this case, you don't need to, you know, type like sequence from 1 to 10 by 1, right? This command will also give you a same answer. But you, you see that if you just want a simple output using sequence underscore length is actually a better command, which saves you time typing and actually the result as well, because this will you know, just make things easier. And I hope this uh, is very useful uh, moving ahead for you as well. Thanks for watching this video. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.